Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of Hibernate 6 tutorial, in the previous videos, we have seen how to create this Hibernate 6 project using Maven, and we have created the uh, configuration file, how to go with session factory, and we have created the test classes where we have seen how to insert records into table. That is how to insert objects of a project class into table, how to update the records of the table using hibernate 6 version today let us go with the next one we want to get the list of records from the table and display in our console using hibernate 6 version now if you take the database table like uh, we are having the table student info with three columns snvo stud name and marks and these are the records present in the table now we want to display these records on our console using Hibernate 6 version. Now, for that, let us open Eclipse and in, a, in the package com.hibernate6.test package, let us create a new class student list with main method. Now, first of all, we have to get the session factory. How to get the session factory? Session factory session factory equal to hibernate util dot get session factory so in the previous videos you can find how to get this session factory then the next step open session 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 equal to session factory dot open session then here transaction is not required transaction is only for insert update and delete operations only now, in order to get the records from the table, we make use of the interface selection query student. This is our project class name. So we are having the student here. Project class student under this entity package student.java. This is our project class with these three columns, SNO, S name, and marks. Now, so that project class name only we have taken here, selection query student query equal to session dot creates selection query create selection query and the query is from student from student and the persistent class is what here student dot class right then import the packages here so when you write here selection query student query equal to session dot create selection query from student this indicates select start from student it's going to connect to the student info table which is going to pick up all the records so how this student class is mapping with student info table we have done that mapping part in our mapping file present under src main resources so here we have created the student.hpm.xml file where we mapped our student class with the table student info so in our class whenever we refer to this student this indicates our student info table of database table now this query is connected to the student info table of mysql database which is going to return the list of records how to get the list of records here by using your list student student list equal to query dot list so when you call the method query dot list from the student info table it is going to pull out all the records and that is stored in this student list import the package for list present in java.util package now traverse the list how to traverse for student stud colon student list then by using some dot out that print line just the printed object student then say finally session dot close that's it now run this file, right click and say run as Java application, which is going to display see, the class name along with hash code. Because whenever we print object in SPOP, whenever we print object in SPOP, it's going to invoke the method, invokes to string method implicitly. And this to string method belongs to object class. And the role of to string method of object class is it returns the class name along with the hash code since this is not in readable format 
whenever we print object in system dot 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 println we have to override this to string method in our class so which class object you are printing student class object so we have to go to student class and we have to override the to string method like this public string to string where we return student number space student name space marks override this to string method now come back to this student list at java run this application run as java application which is going to display the records of table on our console right then same code we can write even using java 8 version using the lambda expressions using the lambda expressions like this student list dot for each student list dot for each and simply say here system dot out to colon print a line or you can even say like this system student dot for each stud you can use the lambda expression and you can say system dot out dot print a line the object student this is one more way of displaying the records on our console using for each method added in java 8 version and using lambda expressions so when you run this piece of code we get the list of records on our console and one more way of doing is using the method reference how to go with method reference student list dot for each system dot out to colon print a line so this is by using what method reference we call this one as method reference added in java 8 version so when you run this piece of code we get the same result it's going to display the list of records on our console right so that's about in this video where we have seen how to get the list of records from table using hibernate 6 version and display it on our console of eclipse in the next video we'll be seeing how to delete the records of a table using hibernate 6 version thank you please subscribe like and share